it is given that a piece of ice floating in water so if you are just considering when an object is floating on the surface of a liquid so just consider that an object is floating in such a way that some portion is inside the liquid and some portion is outside so you can write this uh, up thrust v rho g is acting in upward direction and weight of this object mg is acting in downward direction and we know the condition for its uh, floating this weight mg should balance a value of up thrust v into rho into g so here you can write v is nothing but volume of uh, liquid which is displaced so you can write as volume of liquid displaced into density of liquid will be equal to nothing but the mass of object so we can write the volume of liquid displaced is equal to mass of object divided by density of liquid now in this situation as we know that if uh, ice melt then same amount of means the mass of ice after melting or mass of ice before melting will be same so when let's say m gram of ice melts completely water formed will have also have the same mass m so the volume of water formed so we can write the volume of water formed will be equal to mass divided by density of water so we can just compare consider these two equations means volume of liquid displaced by ice is density divided by density of liquid mass divided by density of liquid and the volume that we are getting because of melting of ice is mass divided by density of water and here we know that if now consider the first situation if the density of liquid is equal to density of water after melting we will get uh, water so density of this liquid and density of water is same that means volume of liquid displaced and volume of that uh, ice formed or volume of water, uh, liquid formed are same so there will not be any change in level of liquid so we can say that if density of liquid formed is equal to density of water then volume of liquid displaced by the water by floating ice will be equal to water formed due to melting of ice so level of water will always remains unchanged irrespective of where is half of ice melts or completely it's melt okay. now in the second situation if the density of liquid is less than density of water then we can say that volume of liquid displaced will be greater than volume of liquid which is formed so the initially to displaced level that will be more as compared to the volume of liquid we are getting after melting so the level of liquid will decrease or if you are just considering the opposite case if the density of liquid is greater than density of water so volume of liquid displaced will be less than the volume of volume we are getting after melting so the level will increase 